Yeah. 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 Come on. Welcome. Good afternoon. Sean Hicks coming at you with the midday money. There you go. Saturday, the 20th of April. Welcome on in. Hope everybody is doing good this morning, this afternoon, this evening, depending where you are. Um, what's there to say? Nice day yesterday. We're going to hopefully continue the winning ways here today. Make sure you hit the like button on uh, the YouTube channels. Winning free picks. Sean Higgs at Mr. Sean Higgs in the Twitter world. If you haven't followed already, give me a follow. Uh, what else do we have? I think th- no, no poll question today. Oh, there's a poll on the Sean Higgs YouTube channel just for general community. We'll uh, get to everything in just one minute. Podcast again, always f- listen after the fact, although with a midday money show with live stuff, it's it doesn't really carry over but hey give it a follow pandora spotify amazon all those channels whatever wherever you get your podcast come check it out and again like and subscribe to the youtube channels both of them sean higgs and winning free picks sean higgs my personal one i do a little more live stuff during baseball with uh day games on wednesday thursday we do extra long live shows there so be sure to tune in folks all right uh recap of Yesterday, uh, and it wasn't a was it a bad day. What do we go four zero here in the video with Major League Baseball props crushed it. Uh, NBA, we dropped both NBA free picks there, but uh, still a still a good day when you pick up seven hundred and player props and sweep the board in Major League Baseball. Uh, today's action, I did add a couple from last night. If you didn't watch Midday Money or see it on the Twitter world. Uh, I did add a couple, so we'll get to those. We'll put them up here in the chat. They are in the chatty chatty. They're on the X. I hate calling it that. I call it Twitter. I call it the Cleveland Indians, the San Diego Chargers, Washington Redskins. I'll always call it Twitter. I'll always call it Twitter. You can't stop me. You can only hope to contain me. Let's go. Baseball 37-35 off the 4-0 sweep. Plus 240. Brew Crew over the eight. Cubbies, both games at a double dip. I'm going to go run line with all double headers. You either take the home team, you take the road team. I'm, I'm taking the Cubs here. As much as I like Lazardo, Assad's pitch really good, and the Cubbies have been hitting a little bit here at home, taking care of business. I'll go run line at home with both spots here. So that's that. That's how I feel about the. Double headers, you know that we took the like last week. I think we had the Yankees in double headers. We had Detroit in the double headers. Oh, you can't you can't pick and choose them. I know it's tough to it's tough to win double headers, but if we get plus money in one, even though it's a run line, I don't mind. I don't mind. Um, Arizona under. I got Gallon on the hill. Big win last night. We take a win with with Arizona last night. You want to? Take on tell you. Let's come down. It was 120, it's 115. I don't I don't really care here. My 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 feeling on this is Gown's gonna be strong. And the Giants offense is struggling. It's just that simple. And I, and as the brew crew over, I look at this. I'm not a Miklos guy. Brewers quietly have a top hitting team, regardless of the two to one game last night. They hit the ball. Bad pitcher for them. Uh to, or excuse me, for Miklos that they get to face. And Hall He's a young guy. Came over in the deal for Burns. Oh, he was a top prospect in the O's organization. He's no Grayson Rodriguez, but he's still thought of highly. Um, why do I feel like a young rookie pitcher versus these veteran kind of bats of St. Louis that have not been hitting will generate some offense today? So we're going to go over that eight there. Sixers, I, you know, I've said this. I know Nick fans are upset. You're all pumped up about your season. Oh, we're the two seed. That's a fugazi ass two seed, bro. They're not a good two seed. Jalen Brunson out here talking like Brunson's like freaking Kobe Bryant with this nonsense. Get out of here with this crap. Is Embiid 100%? I don't know. Who's 100% right now? Some guy's never played. Listen, um, if this guy's banged up and plays 20 minutes, yeah, the Knicks probably win the series. If he's 80 plus, 90%, 
this is a six, seven game series. I'm going to take the points. All you need to know is this series is a pick them. They're a three point fave as a two seed. Embiid, he's got what? A couple games under his belt. I mean, he was putting up 30 and 10 for his whatever, seven, eight game stretch when he came in off the injured list, whatever the case may be. You want to say he looked bad versus the Heat? That's fine. You know why? Because, hi, it's playoff basketball now, Knicks. You can't you can't play tough ball in February and March when nobody's playing defense and then expect to just blow out teams, not even blow out teams, just to, just to win a lot more than you lose in the playoffs. It doesn't happen that way. Teams play defense. And I'll take Nick Nurse over Thibodeau every day. I'm not going to think about it. And Carolina under five and a half. Uh, I mean, the Islander team, who is it, Patrick Wah? Patrick Roy? That's that's back in my wheelhouse, him, Dominic Hasek. That's why he's play Sega NHL with the boys. Give me the under here, five and a half. Player, and you see the records, 44 and 41. We did drop two there with um, the games last night. On the site, though, we are cashing pretty good, 57%. You could laugh at thirty and twenty three. I don't. I, I put money in my pocket. No one. No one's gonna step over ten bucks on the ground. I don't know why you'd step over like two hundred and eighty dollars, but people do. Laugh all you want. Twenty and twenty one with hockey minus uh, fifty bucks. But again, on the sites, we're not bad. Thirty five and twenty one. Uh, thirty five and twenty nine. Thirty four and twenty nine. Making money. That's what we do. That's what I do. Player props. Thirty eight and forty six. Plus 1905. So we like to see. Big day yesterday. I mean, huge ribbies we got there. About a lot of good plus money. And we're back at it today. We'll come back to the Soto. Not the Soto. Juan Soto. Plus 180 ribby. Because you know what? My guy, Miggy, or it's not Miggy. It's Orlando. We could call him Melky. Right? Melky would be better than, than a Miggy Cabrera. But he's doing his best Miggy impression. Driving in runs. Are you kidding me? 265 ribby for a Cabrera. 205 run. Although he's up a little bit in the lineup here. Um, listen, Eflin's been okay. So-so. He's got a couple hits against him as well. So I'm going to go for the big double E up paydays on Orlando run and ribby. Soto. Listen, would I be happy if uh, there's two outs and Cabrera's on? Third, and he hits a two-run home run in the fifth inning. Super. Clash all these guys right out of the gate. We'll take it. Philly. I said last night, we were talking about the Philly game. Someone's like, oh, uh, Philly props. I'm like, you know what? I don't even look at the Philly props versus the White Sox. Because I just assumed, and again, you assume you make the ads out of you and me, that these ribbies would be, like, low. Are you kidding me? The guy hitting cleanup or fifth here, plus 155 versus... Soroka, is this a joke? Is, is this a joke, Soroka? Guy's got 10, 11 starts in the last three years. Is he already a touchdown? He's terrible. Work, he's not a guy who's like working his way, you know, getting back in form. The guy hasn't been good. He's not the same pitcher he was. Said, Listen, Brady came up. You're like, wow, here's a good young starter. He gets hurt. Never the same. You're giving me this guy and Marsh behind him a plus 180? You're telling me nobody's going to be on base for these two guys? Come on. Come on. 155, 180. Thank you. Garcia got it done last night. Now, I don't like doing a 110. This is low. And I took an Azuno 110 last night. Was it a 110 for him yesterday? Yes, it was. 110 for him. A 170 for Michael Harris. So, hello, we'll take that. Arcia was a 165. Um, he's up to 205 today. But um, listen, Garcia at a 110. The guy is raking, right? He's what, hitting 310, 20 ribbies. Uh, got the five homers, a little power here. Charlie Morin, no thank you. And Heim, a couple spots down behind him, plus 195. Again, I think Morin's going to get hit. There'll be guys on base. Base hit, scores a run, plus 195. Thank you for the winner. Atlanta, Azuna, again, this guy's hitting like nobody's business. Plus 145. And Arcia. Arcaya. RCA. Sorry, I butcher names. I don't care about butcher names. We're about making money here. Plus 205. I want to take this guy plus 205. I mean, the, 
What's he hitting? He was hitting 377 yesterday. 205? And I like Evaldi. He can't he can't give up some runs today. Can't give up a couple of runs. 205? Guy hitting 370. All righty. All righty. We got comments of quite a few. We'll hit the chat and then we'll move on for today. Ho oh, is number one in the chat today. Happy Saturday, Higgs in the chat. Catch nice in the Cubbies yesterday. Talion looked good in his first start of the year. He took Yankees run line and T Wolves yesterday. Yankees run line. Well, yesterday, Yankee run line, never in doubt. Do you like him today in the run line with Nesty Nestor? And the Wolves, I like the Wolves. Talion, I was shocked. I'm, I should have. Yeah, I am shocked. Well, I'm not. I was not expecting a um, like most guys. You're coming back. I don't expect huge performances. I should say. All right, I don't expect huge performances. That's just my thought. Uh, five innings, three hits, four runs. Perfect. Listen, if I'm a Cub fan, I'll take that. Heck, I would have took that when he was on the Yankees. That cat. Michael A's in the house. Good after. Noon. Like he loves it. We gotta get the good afternoon shirts. I got it on the show next channel. I know that you could set up like a uh like a spring store or something. So I gotta get a maybe I'll do a good afternoon like that for Mike. Mike, if I make a good afternoon shirt, you better buy it. <laughs> uh I like the cubbies yesterday. Also hope I didn't pull trigger. Tough to pull trigger again. I don't I thought I tell you my thoughts on the, the pitchers like that. My case I was heavily impressed in Braves team total four and a half. Thank you. Gosh, Dano at a monster day. It was all a Travis Dano today here. Travis Dano, what do you have, three homers? But you, you say that like, oh, thank God that guy had a great day. Say if he just gets a base hit, are you telling me they wouldn't have scored runs anyway? I mean, three homers, wonderful. I mean, listen, I had Texas in the over, so I ended up splitting. Um, but it was what it was. I'm not going to complain about a five and two day of baseball on the sites. Jesse, should we send a search party? What happened? Jess? Really, Jess? Really? What are you talking about? I was here. I was here. T Money says Higgs, Lakers money line, heat money line. I may dabble in a little hockey as well. Here we go. T Money's coming in. Mr. Laker himself, 17th man on the bench, still swears the Lakers are going to win the title. Um, I'm shocked he doesn't have the Suns here. He's a big KD guy as well. Heat money line. Oh, man. So, listen. The Lakers. Denver should win this series 4-1. Shouldn't be close. Should not be close. That's why they're 330 favorites to win. Because the Lakers are crap. Now, if the Lakers are going to get 2-1 to one foul calls, nah, you know, this is going to be a 6-7 game series. Denver is going to have a little fight on their hands. But it's all about good drama. Uh, this will probably be a six games here, right? I mean, they're not going to have the Lakers get swept. They can't have that. LeBron have a, a mental breakdown. He'll be crying like a, the baby that he is if he gets swept. So he's got to go down uh, 4-1. There'll be some close games like, oh, they, you know, you'll be in here, Team Money, talk about, oh, they almost won. They should have won. It, yeah. No, it'll, it, it'll be, let's be honest, probably 4-2 to make the Lakers not look as crappy as they are. And taking the heat. On the money line. I get it. You want to be fancy. Hi. Uh, the, the Celtics are, are soft and fake. Uh, that's tough to do when you have 37 to 4 at home. You got a couple. Of, I mean, you lose at the end of the season. Uh, the Heat are without their best player. Big win yesterday. I, I wasn't on the Heat yesterday. I don't like the Heat. So, hold on. There's knocking. I got a, my guy's like, he needs glasses. They broke and he's putting up a fight about going to get new ones. He said, they broke a while ago. Now he's got like scotch. I'm like, come on, bro. Get a scotch tape on your phone, on your, on your side of your glasses. All right, back to this. You want to take a money line on both. I understand. You think you're being cute. You're not. You're going to be, you're not going to be able to tweet at me anymore, T-Money, because you're going to be on a, um, what are those? What are those phones you buy at Seven Eleven? That was really big for like old people who can't see numbers. 
That's what, that's what, that's what, that's the kind of phone you're gonna be you'll be playing with. You, you do stuff like this. Pound it's in the house. CJSA Cubby run line both games today. I'm with you. Nick Nasty's in the house. Mets came through last night. They sure did. No Dodger team total did not get there. Four and a half. And uh, the Mister Number play went down. I think that's twenty one and two or twenty one and three now. His Dodgers three guys, four guys in the first inning. Pound it says how about the D backs whooping. Never in doubt over three and a half team total, seven and a half per game. Ah. Ow. Blake Snell, I don't know. Let's who Blake Snell's really good. That being said, they poured it on late. I mean, they they pounded the bullpen. Um is Michael B even here today? Is that I mean he might have drowned. He might have drowned in tears last night watching that. Um but a lot of bullpen beatdowns there. Snell. Five runs early, sure, that's what we expected from him coming back. That's what he does in the first five, six weeks of the season. He gets shelled the last two years. So, again, we talked about this in games one, games two, games two. We'll do it again. Some Bobo is going to be out here and be like, yeah, man, Snell, he's going to bounce back. Um, it was a it was a done deal before the bad bullpen came in. I'm just hoping they got a little left in the tank after that. Like, it was 5... I, th- I, th- I saw 5-1 one and 7-1. I'm like, this is a winner. No, it was 10-1. I mean, it just it just kept going on and on and on. Uh, as much as I like Gallon today, is it worrisome to me when a team drops a basically a 20 spot on the team? Yeah. Did you save any runs in the tank? Michael, I said, I got the Phillies team total of 4.5 versus double-A pitcher at the White Sox. Double-A. No, he's a triple-A. Double-A is where the prospects go. This guy's like a, a 4A pitcher. Soroka's bad. I, I, Mike, you were here in the beginning. You, you had to listen to my uh, Ruby props here on on Bomb and, and Marsh and, and Soroka, the way he's pitched. Rangers team total over 3.5 versus Charlie Morton. Yes, sign me up for that. I saw that it was a minus 130, I believe, Michael, but I still like it. David says, I'm on the, o, or, uh, I'm on the O's. I'm on Orlando plus 5.5 and, and the under – in the Canes hockey. I'm with you under Canes. I like the magic. It's gone up a bit. I like the over in this game, 207. Uh, Sean, take Toronto on the ice today. I really like it. I also took Edmonton to win it all. So we got some ice action. Some ice, ice baby. We got to stop, collaborate, and listen. So you don't like the Boston Bruins today. He says, take the Leafs. Michael says, congrats, Higgy and everybody off of the good day. There is the winning free pick. Facebook, and as I look at the likes, it's not Dennis Wild. It's not Rick Wild or Dennis O'Brien. It's Abel. Abel with the first like on the Facebook crew. Appreciate it. There is the winning free picks, YouTube. Come give it a follow. And, of course, the Sean Higgs YouTube. Come follow. Premiums available on the Sean Higgs. Go get a super chat. Become a member. Stop Geo says, good luck. Today, I uh, appreciate it, Gio. Good to see you. Uh, Hoss says also money line for st- for who? What game was that? A money line? T Wolves. Uh, Mike, like Cubs look good yesterday. They sure uh, they did. Listen, the Cubs could hit. It's all about the pitching. Like every team, it's the pitching, pitching, pitching. Hey, check the AAA numbers for the rookie they got today. ERA over ten, WHIP over two, only three starts. Who are you talking about? Which uh? What game is this? Rookie going for the Marlins today. Um, Munoz. No, I didn't check. I This was a straight. I'm going to do the Cubbies run line in both games. One's a pick them because they're $2 favorites with a manga who's pitched really well. And I got uh, a side who's pitched well. But it didn't make a difference who's pitching for the Marlins. I wasn't going to take. It was either Marlins both games or the Cubbies run lines. And I would take a shot with the Cubbies run lines. Worst case, even if a, a split, I'm not losing anything. I'm going to lose $5 on the split. As opposed to going, uh, I, I don't see the, I, I know you want to go one and one with a big dog in, in Miami. I just can't do it. Player prop king is in the house. Lauren's here. Hey, Sean, I'm with you on a Brewers over. Also like the Natty's money line. Natty's money line let me down yesterday. I had the Nats with Gore yesterday. I thought about coming back on him today. I did not pull the trigger here because I've I've gone against Blanco after his no-no, 
And then he followed it up with another seven plus innings of no no ball. He's pitched well. Uh, how about an under, perhaps, in that game? Because Williams, Williams got decent numbers. He's not bad right now. It's out of the gate. Player prop king. Donovan Mitchell over nine and a half boards and assist is minus 103. Abel, my guy, Facebook friend. Thoughts on the thought of Panthers tomorrow against Tampa Bay Lightning? Have a great day. Um, Sunday hockey. I did say I like Florida here. I, I want to do a puck line. I want to puck line that game. And then it's like Dogtown. I want to take Washington. I know our guy Mel was like, Mel was like, Winnipeg, Winnipeg, Winnipeg. Mikey P.O.D. likes the Avalanche and Nashville and Vancouver. I might take the Smashvilles. Tim Earls and ask, good morning, Mr. Tim. What do you got there? You got any college baseball for the crew? Any college baseball? My old partner in crime, he's too good. He's grown up. He spreads his wings. He leaves me. He, I'm an empty nester now. Tim left. Tim left the roost. Player prop comes in. Isaac Okoro over, over a half three. So he needs one three, Okoro. Isaac Okoro over five and a half points. And assists. So how about how about you just get um if you get two threes, does that count even if he has no assist? Tim Rose says boots on the ground for Islanders Canes game. Draw plus three forty and Islanders money line. So three forty to go to OT. And Islanders to pull out a miracle. All I need is a miracle. Give me the under. A draw would be good. Hopefully it would be 1-1. One, one. Joe Ingles over 4.5. Joe Ingles. Do I still play Joe Ingles? Uh, you know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking of that guy. Who is that? Joe Harris, who was back out in Brooklyn. That's a while ago. <laughs> Player prop. Suggs first quarter over a half rebound. Minus 160. But all he needs is a rebound. How hard could it be to get a rebound by your prop? Uh, Panda says the Munoz dude from Rollins has been passes from team to team to team in the past year and a half. That tells you everything. Cubs blow out game two. Let's uh, let's pull up a little Munoz. Rodery Munoz. He's twenty four years old. Let's see. Uh, Washington Nationals option, Ronnie Munoz, to the Rochester Red Wings. They claimed him from the Braves. So the Braves let him go. He goes to the Natties. I guess he's released because all of a sudden he's on the Pirates. He's claimed off waivers. Pirates designated him from assignments. He goes to the Marlins. Marlins option, option, Mr. Munoz, to the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp. I love it. I, You know what? I got to get me a Jumbo Shrimp hat. Actually, I'm going to get a Jumbo Shrimp shirt. Nothing better than an oxymoron like Jumbo Shrimp. Stop, Geo. Parlay. Cubby's money line. And Phillies, no at bat, bottom nine. Shouldn't have no at bat on both. And plus 151 is still a good number here with two teams that should, I mean, they're big fans. Well, Phillies are minus 300. Like, Cubbies, I, I like it, 150. Polo Banchero over four and a half threes for the player prop king, minus 120. I can get behind that one. They're going to need him. Cavaliers, first half, minus two. I like the magic. Jesse Shule, back in the day when fans were allowed to heckle athletes, had a right behind Patrick Juan Vancouver. Heckled him for the entire game because he opted out of the Olympics. Yeah, now you can't heckle because then, uh, I don't know, some guy with number 23 on his jersey for the Lakers could come over, point you out to the security, and have you escorted out. Player Pop King says, I think the Cubs are the hottest team. Well, let's see who is the hottest team. Let's go to the standings because uh, betting hot teams, I think, is good business in baseball. Now, when you get to those, the win streaks get up a little bit. You do got to watch because they don't like laying big numbers, hence why we have run lines. That being said, the Twinkies have dropped five in a row. So do you make a play on 
the Motor City Kitties today, Detroit Tigers, with Reese Olsen on the hill. Next up, you have Seattle, who's won three in a row, in Colorado versus a slumping Rockies team who's dropped five in a row. Now, I made the exception yesterday. We did take the Rockies plus 115 as a dog because you drop five in a row and you're a dollar 15 cents, so 15 cent doggy. Ay, no, thank you. Um, Cubs are not the hottest team. They are six and four last 10. The Phillies and Braves both seven and three tied with the Orioles, Blue Jays, and and uh, Kansas City Royals, all 7-3 in the American League. So there's that. White Sox on a 2-8 and eight run. Stay away. Rockies 2-8 and eight run. Probably stay away from them as well. Jesse Schultz says, no biggie. Canada won 2010 Olympics. Sydney Crosby game winner over septic tank Yanks. Is that, was that the, the DVT Team USA? The hockey's not even a real sport. Just, it's right up there with tennis. Nathan, Texas Rangers under five and a half Ks. I'm guessing Davis, right? Little Evaldi under K prop. You don't like Evaldi to strike out any Braves today? I don't know. I, he's a kind of a strikeout guy. Kind of a strikeout guy. Davis likes the under, though. Pat says Kane's on a puck line plus 130. He wants to be raising canes, beating up on Tim Earl's Islanders. Jose Budo for the Mets under five and a half strikeouts. Yes. Yes. Jesse Schultz says, Pat, it also covered puck line of five straight at Rally. Canes are due, he says. He knows how they do for the puck line. I want a llama shirt. So we just do the just just the llama with the headphones, or do you want the whole midday money llama, the whole license plate like the black t-shirt? I gotta do the shirts. I gotta put the shirts on the on the show on his YouTube. Canes at home playoffs. That place will be fire. Can't take money line. Puck line only. Empty net goal at the worst. Wine times in house. Good to see you. What's up, Sean? Today's the day. Wedding day. You're getting married and you find time to get into a live chat. Wine time. Excellent. Wine time. I don't have Zell, but uh, give me your PayPal. I'll send you a little cash to get something. If it's your wedding, not if you're going to a wedding. Message me on Twitter. Brian says, Dodgers lost six of the last eight. How can anyone put a nickel on that portion? <laughs> you know, tiny curse is loaded. They're trying to cover up his involvement in gambling scandal. Brian, before Otani was betting and losing $40 million out of his account that I didn't know was there, I said beginning of the year, fade the Dodger team. Everybody like, oh, it's Otani, Betts, Freeman. Yeah, and then you have Will Smith who's solid, and Tiasco Hernandez is all right, and Max Muncy who hits a buck 90, but he eats 30 homers, so I guess he's considered good. The bottom of the lineup is not all that great. The pitching staff, to me, I said at the beginning of the year, it was a questionable pitching staff. I don't know. You have who? You got the Yamoto. How's he going to pitch in the American, in the American League? In, in the National League is just in America, coming out of a different league. I don't know how he's going to be. They assume the guy. They assume he's going to be Cy Young going uh twenty-one and two. Glass now solid when he's healthy. He's like 25, 27 guys. Going to miss some starts. And then who do you have? We got Burley coming back. We got Kershaw, who's old. Who? Gavin Stone, Edward, Emmett S Smith, Sheehan, Emmett Honors, Jug Van Christmas, whoever that dude is. Who? Where's Gonsolin? I mean, who who's their pitching staff? To be determined. To be determined. Everybody. You know, Gavin Stone. This is the staff. That's, this is a team that people think is the best team ever. I guess, when you, listen, you want to pay guys $35 million a year, you need a lot more of the pitching department. Not sure why you didn't sign Smell for 30 At that point, what's the difference giving him $60 million for two years? Or bringing him Montgomery? Michael A., I'm going to hop on the Marsh Ruby prop, lefty batter, righty pitcher. Take it. Plus 180. Dude, dude, go look at the Soroka numbers, please. Someone just, I'm not going to pull them up. I've we've, I've done this going back to last year when the guy, he was pitching against, right, he was on Atlanta, pitching against the A's, and everybody was like running to take Atlanta, and we said, no, let's take the A's today, plus like 290 at home, and they beat him like 7-2. to two. It's right out, Kenny. Good to see you. Uh, and I see I like the Tigers money line today. Yes, I just mentioned the Twinkies, seven, uh, five straight losses. I like the Rays money line due to a lot of missing pieces for the Yanks today. And that's it for MLB. Hold on a second. Who's out for the Yankees today? Um, 
I thought we had a Volpe starring, Soto starring, Judge, Rizzo. I mean, Judge is at that time. Judge was hitting 180. No, Judge is playing. There's Judge with his 190. I'd rather Judge would be out. Rizzo's crap. I get it. Bervertigo, Graham, Cabrera, Austin Wells. I mean, I don't know what they're really missing here. It looks like a regular lineup. If you say you don't like the Yanks because Judge and Rizzo are terrible middle of the order guys, Judge Rizzo and Vertigo, super. I, I agree with that. Why don't I? Why we don't have? And listen, I like Cabrera. We have him a bunch of times in here. Um, it's got a home run, two at bats versus uh, our guy Eflin. But listen, the Rays are feisty versus the Yanks. You say the Rays are feisty versus the Yanks, and you're going to take them plus money every time they play? I'll get it, because at the end of this, the year, you're probably up money. Davis says, A&M in college baseball minus 180. Too steep for me. I don't like that price. Uh, Trey Dallas Kane says, I really like LeBron over seven and a half boards today. Yes, yes, yes. I could sign off on that one. A righty pitcher who stinks. He's terrible, Soroka. First half, Brian Smith says, first half under NBA playoffs seem to be a thing in second half overs. Yeah, it totally makes sense. Lawrence says, take in Bruins regulation, a little fan bias. We got a little mixed bag on that Bruins-Toronto game. Wilson, good to see you, Wilson. Hope all is well. What do we got here? Guardians run line. So Cleveland versus the A's. Logan Allen Oxwood, I don't know. I like the over in this matchup with these two pitchers. Phillies run line, sure. Cubbies, write it down. He told me to write it down. And I will. Wilson. Cleveland run line. Philly run line. And the Cubby run line. This should sweep. Hoa says, going under Royals. Yes. Burns and Raggins. Two Cy Young candidates. Two Cy guys will be battling for the Cy Young with my guy Grayson Rodriguez. Yes. Davis says, Monterey plus 150, 6 p.m. Club Leon, not good, underdog. Monterey, I guess it's a soccer from our guy Davis. I love Davis venturing into the soccer world. He gave us some nice Sugar Land Space Cowboy winners in minor league baseball, and now he's going to Monterey. Here we go, college baseball from our guy Tim Merle. Texas A&M, we got a run line from A&M. Because our guy Davis said to take A&M minus the 180. Too much for me, but a minus 120, much more respectable. Two and a half for ECU. Is that a homer play? We'll never know. ULL Coastal over 15 runs. South Carolina money line minus 125. Kentucky money line even. NC State plus 115. Vandy minus a run and a half plus 110. Florida State plus 115. TCU money line plus 110, Vatek money line plus 115, and California plus 115 on the line. How, how, what is your record for college baseball, too? Is it good? Uh, David says Arizona minus 120, so he likes Arizona in college baseball. Brio, Facebook fella in the house. What do you say, Brio? Welcome on in. Hitting the like button. Appreciate it. You, Davis, Abel. Yes, he says, in the UK and Australia, they refer to American as septic tanks because it rhymes with Yanks. I get it. Well, UK, well, they should just be jealous because we kicked them out of here. And as for the Australians, I mean, is that really a country? I, I don't even know if Australia is real. Is that real? What do you got that number besides kangaroos? And Vegemite. David says, nice three-teamer today. He's got the Natty's money line, Angels money line, and Baltimore minus one. I love the Natties. I love it. I had them yesterday. I couldn't come back on them today, but um, I say go for it, Dave. And I always joke, like, the best way to go two and one is put in three-team parlay. But if you're doing a three-teamer and you're taking a nice dog, sure. Uh, Angels playing pretty good themselves. I don't hate it. 150 doggy, 110 doggy, and Baltimore. See, the Baltimore one, though, do I really want to get involved in a game that could go either way? Because Raggins is tough. They they sure did this a Seppo. This is what who I mean, Brain. Brain hasn't been good in what have they contributed to the world the last two hundred years? Nothing. Who cares about the Brits. Sorry, British people. You got fish and chips. Really? 
Oklahoma minus 180. Big, big number, Davis. Yamoto might be the biggest bust. Teach him a lesson on how they did Trevor Bauer dirty. Yeah, Bauer still can't get a job. Troy Dallas Kenny says Trevino is out too. Yeah, but he hasn't been playing well. I mean, I don't mind as a Yankee fan. If you're a Yankee fan and you're going to play Austin Wells as a, as a rookie young guy, get him at bats. But Trevino, he wasn't good last year. He had the All Star year, what, two years ago? Ho, oh, Stanton and Torres out for the Yanks today. Gleber has been bad. And St- I mean, really, are we really running to back Stanton? I like Trent Grisham. I, I don't need I don't need guys who just strike out and hit homers. Can I get a guy who gets on base? I mean, I guess Stanton's got some pop. He's got 15 hits, five homers. That's that's what the Yanks need. Another guy who just hits a homer or strikes out. That's why that's you know what came across like one of my timelines. I don't know if it was Instagram or something. Or, you know, sometimes you get those reels come in. It was they're talking about 300 hitters in baseball and how there was like like six of them last year. Because this is the reason. Because people think Stanton's a good player. Yeah, if you're hitting 280 and striking out 170 times, that's fine. But now when you're hitting 230. And you're on pace to have 55 hits and 20 homers. What is that? That's not a good ball player. I don't want him in the lineup. And Gleber looks totally lost at the plate, in the field. Uh, pitcher catcher chemistry is huge. It will matter. Well, we'll see. I mean, I, I'm pitchers do like throwing to a particular guy. Totally understand that. But on the same token, um, I, I don't think it's a deal breaker, right? You, you got a, a day game after a night game. Guy's going to get a, a rest in that spot. So that's that's my thought on the, the catching situation. Uh, Oregon Ducks says Dave Davis is diving into baseball. Look at this. Brandon. Good morning, Brandon. How are you? Good to see you. Tridows Kenny says, Athlete has better numbers versus the Yanks and Contreras versus the Rays. I was looking. I mean, they are what they are. I mean, listen, do I like Athlete more than Cortez? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. But I'll just... I'll grab some uh, ribby props there with the Yanks because I think Eflin's going to give up some runs. Wine Time says, you my wedding. Have a two-hour, an hour or two until my groomsmen get here. We start getting ready. Appreciate that a lot, Sergeant Man. Well, congrats on the wedding. Good stuff. I go to weddings. I haven't been to one in a while. Um, and I don't know what it's like on the West Coast. Jersey, it's like you go to a wedding, a big cocktail hour. Because that's the party, the cocktail hour, you know. I need baby lamb chops. I need shrimp. There better be some kind of carving station. You got some dude doing pasta, lobster raviolis, you know. So that's number one. I don't care about the food. The food's going to be what it is. What do you, you get? Some kind of chili and sea bass. There's a Chateau Brion, some roasted chicken, whatever. You need a good happy hour. And, again, I don't know how it rolls out on the, on the West Coast or Central, even down South. But in the East, baby, Jersey style. Happy hour, the cocktail hour, better be kicking. Open bar. Then I had a giant Yankee ice sculpture that I threw into the parking lot after they blew their 3-0 lead. It was, they lost that Friday night to the Red Sox. Um, so you need food, booze for all the drunken idiots. And then, of course, the V&E's hour at the end of the party, right? So you have all your dinner and dancing. But then here comes the Viennese. I want a nice Viennese spread at the end. You bet. You better have a chocolate fountain, to say the least. I'm not a big Italian cookie guy. I want some cakes, some chocolate mousse. Astros dead at dead last night. Astros dead last night, Brandon. They they won last night. My Kamado's in house. Took a Philly three legger. Turn the run scored. Harper Irby, Marsh Irby. A dollar for seven fifty. I like it. I like it. I like Turner. I think Turner's a Hall of Famer. Harper, not so much. Congratulations to Wine Time. Have it, hey? Yes. 
Worth a shot with a bad ready pitcher. Yes, Mike. Uh, Soroka's bad. Just anytime that guy's on the hill, I'm going to look to to do something against him. Hey, you check out the political post from our friend Davis. You might like it. Davis p- political post on Facebook. Adam Hurley. Lakers are 25-5 when Teron Pence plays less than 25 minutes, but Darvin Ham's a dip poopy. Um, listen, Darvin Ham's a terrible coach, but that's who LeBron wants. So after they get swept out of the play, off or lose here uh, in, in five or six games, uh, they'll fire him and bring in some other scapegoat. Why types of thank you, Troy? Appreciate you. Picks from Dave is in the house. We say David. Hey, I wish you were my history teacher in school. Oh yes, I, I, I could do I could do history. I like um, doing history. That was my favorite class. History, like American government stuff like that. World history. It's kind of fascinating. I loved Raiders of the Lost Ark. Not that that's real history, but stuff like that. It's. No, I don't. Know. That's a whole nother. That that that's that. Geo, that's what I'll talk. Like that's when I, we have like a live show on the Sean Higgs YouTube, and we're watching a game and we're ripping baseball cards. I'm just like rambling on about things to talk about when there's nothing going on in the game. We can talk about this kind of stuff. Do you guys like the Guardians' day? Behold, I like the over. I think both pitchers are eh. Alex Wood, I think, is bad. Cleveland offense has surprised me by putting up the runs they have. I don't know what's more surprising: the Cleveland offense or the Brewer offense. But I think it's an over today. What happened to Stanton? I don't know. He's an old man. I mean, he's a guy who's what, 34, 30, how old is he? 34, 35? Give him a day off. He played last night. He's got a, you know, a noon game today. What are we doing? The guy's, he can't, he can't be going to bed at 2 o'clock and getting to the stadium at 10 a.m. He's too old for that. The guy needs a massage after the game. Miranda's back to pitch. We're waiting for McCall and Garcia. Says Brandon. McCullers and Garcia. When are they coming back, Brandon? The Strohs, we got the problems here. Brandon, when are you going to hit a Sugar Land game? I, I, was, I thought about going last night, and I saw they had a J.P. France bobblehead giveaway. So I got to look at the schedule. I like the bobbleheads, but then they just get put in a box. I even took them off my shelf. I didn't have the shelves. I got little mini helmets and some llamas. Horses well, probably rest in Stanton. Now, yeah, he's rested. Day game after night game. That's why Trevino's out. I mean, he's a catcher. You play all night last night, and you know the knees are bothering me. Ten hours later, Davis says Cleveland minus one eighty five. Too much run line or the over. Mike Lake says Spanky's crashing back to earth like the Dodgers. I don't know if they're crashing back to earth. They won last night. That being said, are, have they played above what I thought they have or would so far? Yeah. I, Come on, man. I was expecting Radon to be what the Radon they should have gotten. Uh, and after that, though, I I don't like the staff. I, th- I think you're getting, you know, Volpe, Soto, and uh, Cabrera have really been excellent carrying uh, the offense. I mean, just look at the numbers here. And you're getting some strong pitching sometimes. Uh, Yanks have work to do. Let's be honest. It's the Orioles. And then I don't know who's next. I thought Toronto would – I've been saying Toronto for three years. I think it's time to break up that ship. And when it's time to trade those guys, I hope the Yanks somehow – I don't know how with their minor leagues. Because uh, I don't want to trade young guys. If, if you're going to – if you're not going to spend money to bring in Snell for $60 million for two years, why are you going to trade Spencer Jones or, or some other young guy to go get Barrios or – Bassett or you know Gaussman. I mean anybody. Uh, I don't know what they're going to do. Dodgers. I, I'm not shocked at the Dodgers struggling. Braves under the nine. Well, that's why you think of all these going to have a good day. Full cocktail hour. That's what I'm talking about. Wine time. There you go. There you go. Nasty Nate says, "Congrats, wine time. Tell your wife you owe me a tequila soda." I'll have to uh, I'll have to bring you a um Nate, at the next Pub Palooza. I have I'll have to bring a like a blender, some kind of housewarming gift. <laughs> Toronto minus one twenty. 
um, today. So you like a little Blue Jay action against the Padres, but Barrios has been pitching well. Wine Time says, we have an open bar for the first three hours. After that, it's up to them. There you go. Th- Three-hour open bar. Not too bad. Unbelievable. Dodgers are two and five to last seven. Not unbelievable, Desmond. It's unbelievable for people who thought the Dodgers were going to win 115 games and never lose. Look at the pitching. It's not a – the staff is not that great. And you get away from the hype of Betts, Otani, Freeman, people get hyperventilating over – Oh, he got three MVPs. Can you can you scroll down to the bottom of the lineup, please? And again, Teoscar Hernandez is a nice role kind of player. Max Muncy's a, a home run. He's he's Joey Gallo. Lux is hasn't really come to what he was supposed to be. James Albin? I mean, what? Don't they? Who, who's a uh, Jason Hayward? They have Jason Hayward. Don't they have Jason Hayward? Nasty Nate says a Vietnamese hour. Yes, it's a v- a Viennese. Yeah, it's a Vietnamese hour. It's great. It's just uh, they just show a platoon and um, well, Viennese. It's the dessert hour. Brandon says I was happy with Hater. He got it done at the bottom of the thing, but he walked. He did not get walked. It was the first one bases with two outs. Listen, Hater. You want to go get Hater? That's fine. They should have got Montgomery. They should have went after a starting pitcher because McCullers, Garcia, Uquiddy, I mean, now Framber. Verlander is 40-something years old. I, 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 he had a nice little start. I'm not buying that. I will fade, I will fade Verlander next time out. Desmond, what's the spread for the Lakers-Nuggets game? The spread is seven, of which, you know what, let's talk some. Um, I got a lot of views here on Twitter, apparently. We got a lot of people watching. Anyway, Brewers over eight. Cubbies run line both games. Arizona under eight. Sixers plus the three. And Carolina under five and a half. Those are the plays so far. Here I thought the show would be like 10 minutes today. I was like, oh, let me come in, get out of here. And yet we have all the comments. The app, the app, the pan out. First inning, two home run. I don't know what this one is. This is a tough one to decipher. Uh, what is your ballpark favorite food where you go? Space Cowboys. My favorite food is the Space Apple game. Just got like a hot dog, bro. There's nothing fancy there. Get a soda. That's it. I like pretzels. I mean, they got Chick-fil-A there. I'm happy with the Chick-fil-A. He's always injured. Yes, he is injured. Court says, what's your best bet of the day? Best bet of the day. I'm probably going to say like the... uh, I do like the Milwaukee over a lot. I got a whole... Pitching for the Brew Crew, young kids versus you got some veterans who are not hitting for St. Louis. So I think we're seeing runs in that game. And also, I'm going to say the Kansas City under. Uh, I got two guys I think are going to go seven plus, and then they're going to strike out a bunch of guys so the bullpen will come in. And as long as it's like a one, as long as we got like less than three runs going late, I think this stays under even if the bullpen comes in. Wine Time says, thank you, Nasty Nate, my brother. Brandon says, that's a good question. Davis says, Boston Bruins today over the Leafs. Desmond says, Tequila Sunrise with brunch right now. Here we go. Where are we at? PTT PT Taverns. PT Taverns. Laura says, thoughts on the Reds games? Thinking maybe an over to nine. No real thought here with Sandoval and Ashcraft. I mean, I sort of like the Reds a little bit, but shockingly, the Angels are somehow almost a 500 team. It's nothing. I got five games today. That one didn't jump out at all. Davis says the Toledo Mudheads. Here we go. This is what we're waiting on Davis for, some minor league baseball. The Toledo Mudheads, first pitch in four minutes. And that is a wrap for me. One hour, basically, 50 minutes here. I was expecting a long show, but a lot of people popped in on a Saturday morning. Appreciate everybody coming in. So be sure to hit the like button on uh, – the YouTube channels, if you're watching, even if you're on Twitter, what are you doing? Just go to the, whatever YouTube channel pops up, whether it's the Sean Higgs one or one of the free picks, and hit the like button. So you know, or so I know, or I don't know. I just know somebody hit a like button. Don't know who it is. Feel free to comment after the fact if you want. So baseball, 
Here we go. 37 35 plus 240. We've got the Brewers over, as I just was talking about there. I think Hall gives up some runs, and I think uh, Miklos is terrible. Cubbies run line both games. I couldn't do Marlins. I, I couldn't. As much as I like my dogs, I'd rather just take the, the Cubs playing well at home here. We'll go run line. Uh, Arizona under the eight. 17 1 game last night. I, give me the under. NBA 44 and 41 plus 120. We like the Sixers here minus the three. Uh, excuse me, Sixers plus three. It says minus. Sixers are plus three, by the way. Uh, NHL 2021 minus $50. Carolina under the five and a half. Dave's coming in, my guy. Good to see you, Dave. I like Carolina Hurricanes. Big. I like the under in this game. So hopefully big, you mean a three-nothing win. Four to one. We'll take it. Then says triple A action Toledo. Aviators host Tacoma later. Have a good Saturday, says Desmond. He's out in Vegas. And I am out of here, out of your video. Thanks for watching. Late night money. 